in Los Angeles, California, just days before the Survivor Series pay-per-view. We are live for WWE 2K22 Universe Mode, episode number 59. This is Monday Night Raw. And just days away from the upcoming Survivor Series pay-per-view, tonight's main event features two men who are ahead of huge clashes coming up on Thursday night. The almighty Bobby Lashley set to go one-on-one -on -one with the franchise player of the WWE, John Cena, a monstrous main event sign for right here tonight on Raw. But we kick things off tonight with the WWE World Tag Team Championships on the line. And a lot of writing on this match that could spell some momentum implications heading into Thursday's Survivor Series. But first up, the challengers. Jeff Hardy and his upcoming opponent, or I should say his upcoming tag team partner, Rob Van Dam. What a way to kick off Monday Night Raw. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. It is for the WWE World Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers first, from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Hardy! As Jeff Hardy makes his way to the ring, we want to remind you that Survivor Series is going to be alive this Thursday night. Thanksgiving night, November the 24th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, a live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Eight matches signed for the Survivor Series Spectacular. We're gonna run down that whole card later this evening here tonight on Monday Night Raw. We are kicking things off with the World Tag Team Championships being defended. Jeff Hardy and his tag team partner, Rob Van Dam, earning this tag team championship opportunity all the way back at the Judgment Day pay-per-view back in September when these two men defeated Murphy and Seth Rollins on that night and now they're looking to strike with some gold here tonight and his partner from Battle Creek Michigan weighing in at 235 pounds Rob Van Dam and this man Rob Van Dam has certainly been in the winning ways since making his WWE return back at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view Victories over Seth Rollins, victories over Murphy, of course the tag team victory we just alluded to. The only blemish on RVD's record thus far since making his WWE return was that WWE Championship Eliminator matchup. You remember back in the lead up to Judgment Day against Mustafa Ali, but what a great matchup that was. RVD with Jeff Hardy by his side. These two men set for tag team championship action here tonight. Absolutely deserving number one contenders, and of course the champions Dominic Dijakovic and Damian Priest. Those two men already signed for the Survivor Series pay-per-view this Thursday night. You gotta be wondering what's going through their heads with the Hurt Business looming this Thursday. But some business to take care of here tonight on Raw. You don't wanna go into Survivor Series empty-handed and with momentum not on your side. But the challengers are set and here comes one half of the WWE World Tag Team Champions, the always impressive Dominic Dijakovic. It's time to feast your eyes on our opening World Tag Team Championship defense. From Kingsboro, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds, he is one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Dominic Dijakovic. And as we mentioned this coming Thursday night at Survivor Series, it is a Survivor Series six-man elimination matchup. The matchup has been changed to a six-man challenge, and it will be the almighty Bobby Lashley, Cedric Alexander, and Shelton Benjamin taking on Dijakovic Priest and the phenomenal AJ Styles, a huge six-man tag team matchup elimination style signed for Survivor Series and a whole lot of writing on that contest. But we do have news coming up about the original bro, Matt Riddle, and the Colossal Omos and their issues. We're going to be giving you guys that breaking news a little bit later on tonight here on Monday Night Raw. Dijakovic set for action on Thursday, and he's set for action, but here comes the tag team partner, the other half of the world, tag team champions, the Archer, Damian Priest. These two men have been impressive for months. Remember, they won the gold in that possible tag team match of the year back at Judgment Day, but can they keep the rain going here tonight on Raw? From New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, he is 
one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest. Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic, remember back at Judgment Day, knocking off Dominic and Rey Mysterio, who held the championships for a number of months. And we're dominating over the tag team division for a number of months as well, but Priest and Dijakovic pushing them to their limits. And absolutely, like we said, tag team match of the year candidate. Back at the Judgment Day pay-per-view. If you missed it, go check out the replay right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. The Priest and Dijakovic set to defend the gold here tonight. And remember the last time we saw Dominic Dijakovic inside the squared circle, it was a couple of weeks ago here on Monday Night Raw when he went one-on-one -on -one with the almighty Bobby Lashley and unfortunately came up short on that night. So in the singles category, momentum not really on the side of the challengers. However, in the tag team category, they have been successful since winning the gold back at Judgment Day. It's about momentum for those two men, but it's also about defending the gold successfully. Who is going to walk away from the Crypto Arena Los Angeles, California with the WWE World Tag Team Championships? The stage is set. It's time to kick off your final pit stop on the road to Thanksgiving Survivor Series. Priest and Dijakovic versus Jeff Hardy and Rob Van Dam. Two men who have held tag team championship gold in the past. Two men who individually have had Hall of Fame careers. RVD already a WWE Hall of Famer. Jeff Hardy absolutely going to be in that discussion one day. Both these men not looking to hang it up just yet. Looking to add to those list of accolades here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Jeff Hardy and RVD, they are not signed for the Survivor Series pay-per-view. But remember, coming up on the next episode of Monday Night Raw, we've been talking about it for weeks, the WWE Draft. Friday Night SmackDown coming back on the air. In the tag team division, and as well as everybody else here in the WWE, a lot of things going to be changing. Superstars are going to be going to Raw. Superstars are going to be going to SmackDown. Who knows where Jeff Hardy and RVD are going to end up. Well, for winning the Tag Team Championships tonight, could at least keep them aligned in the draft next week. We'll have more info on the WWE Draft coming up at Survivor Series, and of course coming up in the next episode of Monday Night Raw, the Dijakovic impressing there. Beautiful corkscrew moonsault. And that is what Dijakovic does each and every time he steps foot in the squared circle. We talk about it every time we see Dijakovic and Priest, but for two men their size, the way they spring around this ring and use their agility to their advantage, absolutely impressive and absolutely the reason they are atop the tag team division right now. And Jeff Hardy and RVD, they were two men who, as we mentioned, have had decorated singles careers, have been tag team champions individually with other partners in the past, but they're new to teaming up. They may be veterans of the ring, but they've only had a couple of tag teams, tag team matches, I should say, by each other's side. Priest and Dijakovic, a newer tag team here in the WWE as well, but definitely a few more repetitions than Jeff Hardy and RVD, so we'll be interesting to see if either one of these teams really has the, really has the advantage in the tag team category here tonight. Damian Priest in there working over Jeff Hardy. Of course, Jeff Hardy got to be the most decorated tag team wrestler out of all four of these men in the ring. Of course, winning the Tag Team Championships with his brother Matt on so many occasions throughout the WWE and throughout multiple companies around the world. Jeff Hardy also a former Intercontinental United States World Heavyweight WWE Champion. There's a little bit of everything in Jeff Hardy's accolade list as he tags in the whole damn show, Rob Van Dam. And we're gonna RVD and Damian Priest for the first time ever right here in this matchup. RVD taking the fight to Priest. Well, that DDT, a little bit of a quick pinfall here, trying to catch Priest off his game, but we know how Priest and Dijakovic, how tough they are. We know they can go the limits. That matchup with the Mysterios back at Judgment Day, 20-plus minute matchup for the World Tag Team Championships. So we know they can go the limit. I'm sure RVD and Jeff Hardy have done their homework here tonight and are prepared for any and all costs to win the World Tag Team Championships, and there's Priest catching Jeff Hardy off guard. Jeff Hardy and Damian Priest, these two men actually had a singles matchup earlier this year in the lead-up to the Backlash pay-per-view, our first universe mode pay-per-view. These two men went one-on-one -on -one in the midst of a number one contender's WWE Championship Tournament. Nice tag team maneuver there by the World Tag Team Champions. And Jeff able to tag in RVD, lucky for him, as things were not going the way of the challengers in this contest right there. Damian Priest did pick up the win in that singles matchup all the way back in the month of March. 
of this year. Wait a minute, look at Dijakovic here grabbing a hold of Jeff Hardy and gonna give him some in this contest. Gotta keep his eyes on RVD though. RVD trying to break it up. Dijakovic's not letting up though, but there's RVD grabbing a hold of the champion. And an Alabama slam dead center of the ring. Dijakovic taking the eye off RVD. That may have spelled a little trouble there for the World Tag Team Champions, but Dijakovic gets the shoulder up. And as we mentioned, as you already saw earlier this evening, coming up this Thursday, Thanksgiving night at Survivor Series, is a Survivor Series six-man elimination tag team matchup. Priest and Dijakovic will be back inside the squared circle. And they will be leading the phenomenal AJ Styles. Against the almighty Bobby Lashley, who we will see in action later tonight against John Cena. And Lashley will have Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin by his side. All six of those men with a lot of writing between each other these last number of months. And for Lashley and AJ Styles dating back to backlash of this year as well. So a long time coming for all six of those men to finally get in the ring and settle the score once and for all. That six-man tag team elimination bout. We'll be coming your way Thanksgiving night, 5 p.m. Eastern time, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel, a live premiere for the Epic Survivor Series event. Damian Priest working over RVD. Priest and Dijakovic don't want to go into Survivor Series empty-handed. It may not be a championship match on Thursday, but definitely the momentum will be in the corner of AJ Styles and company. If Priest and Dijakovic can get the win here tonight, going for that choke, choke slam breaker there. RVD with the counter and able to chin breaker to Damian Priest. Nice maneuver by RVD. Priest being control last number of minutes. RVD and Jeff Hardy really got to start mounting some offense here. And RVD, speaking of such, classic rolling thunder to Damian Priest. Alex not to go for the cover just yet. RVD, I think he knows. How tough Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic are. A little bit of respect almost, not going for the cover. But RVD knows he's got to do some more damage on the World Tag Team Champions, as he did just there. Now RVD goes for the cover. But Damian Priest gets the shoulder up. And maybe RVD would have been a little bit more in the driver's seat had he just continued into the pinfall after the rolling thunder. Not let the momentum slow down, but regardless, the match rolls on. Jeff Hardy, now the legal man, Jeff Hardy! Try to capitalize on an injured situation. Twist of fate. Down goes the champion. Hardy not going for the cover. What away? He had to pull Damian Priest away from the ropes to avoid the rope break situation here. But Priest gets the shoulder up. Damian Priest reaching down deep here tonight. And Jeff gonna tag RVD back in. You see these men trying to stay fresh here. Jeff threw one of his best shots. It didn't work. Now Damian Priest. Missing on that elbow there. You got to wonder if a little bit miscalculated, a little, got a couple screws loose. That's for the offense from RVD and Jeff. The Priest trying to mount some offense here. Throwing RVD into enemy territory. And again, still to come tonight in your main event on Monday Night Raw, the almighty Bobby Lashley, who we will see in there with Priest and Dijakovic on Thursday. Wait a minute. That may be lights out. And unfortunately, the rope break, RVD's foot under the ropes, Damian Priest not watching his ring awareness there, a rare mistake out of the World Tag Team Champions, but Damian Priest hit the lights, the reckoning on RVD. And that may have been all she wrote had the ring positioning not been off for the World Tag Team Champions. Priest been in there a number of, number of minutes, excuse me, gonna tag in the fresh legs of Dominic Dijakovic. Chop hurt around the world. Look at that throw in RVD. Oh, he's got to watch the agility. We know how balanced RVD is inside of that ring. Lands on his feet and momentum shifts back to the challenger corner. RVD and Jeff Hardy. They're going to knock off Dijakovic and Priest in their first World Tag Team Championship defense since winning the gold back at Judgment Day. RVD trying to muscle the bigger man up. Dijakovic counters. Nice German suplex. RVD really ate it. Dijakovic went down with the pressure there. RVD's down. The big man is heading up to the top rope. Jeff and RVD may be high flyers, but so are these men. But a crash and burn scenario there. RVD not allowing that big time splash from Dominic Dijakovic, who hits RVD with that kick. Nice reversal there by one half of the world tag team champions. 
Ajakovic grabbed a hold once again, and this time RVD not able to land on his feet. Landed like a cat the previous time, but Dijakovic using his strength to his advantage this time. That's what makes Dijakovic and Priest so dangerous. Not only their agility, not only their speed and high flying offense, but their strength and size as well. And look at Damian, or excuse me, look at Dominic Dijakovic. RVD is in trouble from the top. And Dijakovic wasn't able to get his wits about him in time. RVD rolled right into the corner and tagged in Jeff Hardy. A million dollar decision by the whole damn show. And Jeff Hardy now taking advantage of this contest. And Jeff, I think, was headed to the top to try to hit the Swanton. But same thing there. Dijakovic taking advantage. Tags in Damian Priest. And now we got two fresh men battling out for the World Tag Team Championships. Well, Hardy's rolling now, but Damian Priest takes him down with that tackle. What a World Tag Team Championship matchup. Kicking us off on the final Monday Night Raw before Survivor Series. What a boot by the champion. RVD is down, Dijakovic is down. We're left to a one-on-one -on -one matchup in the midst of this World Tag Team Championship defense. Damian Priest and Jeff Hardy, one-on-one -on -one right now. And as we mentioned, the last time these two men met inside of that ring, all the way back in March, it was Damian Priest who defeated Jeff Hardy on that night. Will that play a factor into the decision we're gonna see right here? Priest five step in the shot. You see RVD in your left-hand corner getting back into this. Dijakovic's a little weary on the outside. Priest is headed to the top. Goes for the elbow, but Jeff Hardy had it scouted. Now Hardy's got to take advantage while Dijakovic's down, and Priest is in trouble. Picking the bigger competitor up. No, Damian Priest able to counter. Not sure if Jeff Hardy had the strength to keep Priest in the air. And Damian Priest with the counter to the German. Dijakovic back up, and we are back to a 2v2 contest here on Monday Night Raw. And once again, Damian Priest going to send Jeff Hardy for a ride. This is where Priest and Dijakovic get dangerous. And they just start grounding and pounding on their opponents. Use a little bit of everything in their arsenals to try to retain the World Tag Team Championships tonight. Nice duck and arrow there by Damian Priest. Charismatic Enigma may be in trouble. The whole damn show looking on. And the Archer takes him out with a kick and making a dose right to the lower back. And a four on to the back of the head as well. Priest is unloading on Jeff Hardy. Things are not looking good for the challengers right now. Damian Priest, wait a minute, choke slam goes down with him. An emphatic statement in the middle of the ring. Into the cover goes Priest. And Jeff Hardy somehow, someway, able to scrape the shoulder off the canvas at the last second. Almost retained the World Tag Team Championships here. Oh man, what a big boot. If Jeff Hardy's lights weren't out, they may be now, but wait a minute. Jeff Hardy's dazed. Damian Priest for the second time in the contest. First time on Jeff Hardy. The reckoning heard around the world. And into the cover again. An RVD in there to break it up. Oh, and Priest taking out the whole damn show. RVD saving the contest, at least for a moment. Damian Priest was about to put away Jeff Hardy following the reckoning. RVD is down. Dijakovic's tagged in. And Jeff Hardy may be in trouble. Or shall we not speak too soon? Jeff Hardy going after Dijakovic. Dijakovic trying to use his speed. Try to outrun Jeff Hardy here. Oh, wait a minute. The big man. Jeff Hardy already ate some big time offense. Making another one. Sit out choke slam by Dijakovic. And that is it. An exhilarating World Tag Team Championship matchup to kick us off on Monday Night Raw tonight. RVD and Jeff Hardy taking it to the air, taking it to the sky on multiple occasions. But unfortunately, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic are just operating on a completely different level right now. And ahead of Survivor Series, the World Tag Team Championships are going to stay with the current holders and big time momentum for Team AJ Styles heading into that six-man elimination Here on Thanksgiving night. The question remains when AJ Styles is by their side and it's 3v3 versus the Hurt Business at Survivor Series. Will Priest, Dijakovic, and Styles be walking away victorious or Bobby Lashley, Cedric, and Shelton Benjamin coming out for their ultimate revenge?
We are back live from the City of Angels here on Monday Night Raw on the Road to Survivor Series continues with the former WWE Champion all day, Austin Theory, set for a one-on-one -on -one affair. Theory with the big last man standing matchup coming up this Thursday night at Survivor Series, but he's got a focus here tonight on Monday Night Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. This Thursday, Thanksgiving night at Survivor Series, Austin Theory will go one-on-one -on -one for the third time. It is the rubber match versus John Cena, and it's gonna be last man standing. The last man standing stipulation made after John Cena put Austin Theory with the attitude adjustment right through the announce table last week on Monday Night Raw. These two men have been battling it out for months. It was all the way back at SummerSlam where John Cena returned to the WWE, defeated Austin Theory on that night. And on the Monday Night Raw after Extreme Rules, Austin Theory, then WWE Champion, defeated John Cena in the second matchup. And now they are set for that rubber match coming up this Thursday at the Survivor Series pay-per-view. But Shinsuke Nakamura, Theory's opponent tonight, also signed for a little bit of action on Thanksgiving night. But he's got to get through the all-day Austin Theory if he wants to build some momentum for himself and his team ahead of Survivor Series. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds. He is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura! Shinsuke Nakamura gonna be alongside the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre and the bruiserweight Pete Dunne as those three men take on Apollo Crews, Finn Balor, and the Celtic Warrior Sheamus in that Survivor Series six-man elimination matchup. A whole lot of writing between those six men dating all the way back to the Backlash pay-per-view this year. And it all comes to a head this Thursday, 3v3, elimination style, the only way you can do it on the Thanksgiving Fall Classic Survivor Series. Nakamura looking to build some momentum for Team Drew McIntyre tonight ahead of their matchup with Team Sheamus this Thursday. It's Nakamura versus Theory one-on-one. -on -one. Live from the Crypto Arena, Los Angeles, California, getting another treat here tonight. Moments after that World Tag Team Championship matchup just kicked us off on Monday Night Raw. Austin Theory taking the fight to Nakamura. Remember, as we mentioned, Austin Theory, after his victory last week, attacked by John Cena. And rightfully so, after Austin Theory distracted John Cena upon his return a couple of weeks ago in that one-on-one -on -one match versus Randy Orton. Cena getting a measure of revenge, putting Austin Theory through the announce table with the attitude adjustment. And I'm sure John Cena would love to do the same thing this coming Thursday. And that may be all she wrote if Cena does deliver that maneuver. It is last man standing. Those two men are going to be in there. You got to beat each other up to the point where the other cannot answer the referee's count of 10. A rubber match between Theory and Cena. A whole lot of writing on that contest. It's going to be one hell of a fight coming up at the TD Garden in Boston on Thursday. Nakamura trying to get back into this matchup. Austin Theory, backbreaker by the King of Strong Style. Shinsuke whipping Austin Theory off into the corner. Nakamura going to come charging. Theory tries to get the boots up. Nakamura with the counter. Nakamura hits the ropes. Beautiful maneuver by Nakamura. Survivor Series six-man elimination matchup, as we mentioned. Shinsuke Nakamura going to be a part of Team Drew McIntyre's. He teams up with McIntyre and the bruiserweight Pete Dunne. As they take on Apollo Crews, Finn Balor, and the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Nakamura's had run-ins with all three of those men on the opposing team throughout this year. Remember when Nakamura was the Intercontinental Champion, he lost the gold back on April the 11th of this year at Backlash to Sheamus. He's had some issues with Finn Balor and Apollo Crews of late as well, so going to be a big night for Nakamura, along with his partners to possibly get a measure of revenge that he's been searching for for a number of months. Nakamura heading up to the top. Theory crashed in Burr, but now it's Nakamura's turn, and Nakamura eats the canvas. Off the fall away here, and Austin Theory trying to put Nakamura away. 
I'm sure Theory does not want this match to go long. He wants to save his energy for Thursday night, but Nakamura not going to be an easy opponent for the former WWE Champion. Remember Austin Theory back at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view this year, shocking the world, outlasting four other men in that elimination challenge for the WWE Championship, walking away with the most prestigious prize in the business today. Unfortunately for him, lost the title. Just a matter of four weeks later to the Rated R Superstar, your current WWE Champion, Edge, back at Judgment Day. Nakamura getting back into this fight. Nakamura dropping the knee. And of course, we will see the Rated R Superstar Edge, your current WWE Champion. He will be defending the gold this Thursday against the Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton. And of course, that matchup is going to take place locked inside the confines of Hell in a Cell. A long storied rivalry between the Viper and the Rated R Superstar. One final meeting in their careers between the two with all the marbles on the line. What a fight that is going to be coming up in Boston this coming Thursday. It's Nakamura. Nice arm drag to Austin Theory. The King of Strong Style firmly in the driver's seat of this contest. And Austin Theory is in trouble right here. And especially now, Nakamura unloading on the young man with a series of kicks. I mean, he's four, five, six, maybe seven. And maybe a knockout blow to Austin Theory. Oh, wait a minute. One of Nakamura's Survivor Series opponents, the Prince Finn Balor, making his way out here to the Crypto Arena. Not scheduled to be here tonight. And he's trying to take Nakamura's eye off the ball. Wait a minute, Theory. Backslide. Backslide on Nakamura. And Finn Nakamura able to get the shoulder up, but... Finn Balor almost costing Shinsuke the matchup there, but Austin Theory unloading on Nakamura now. His eye may have been taken off the ball for just the right amount of time. And the momentum swings back in the corner of the young man, Austin Theory, but Nakamura trying to stay in this fight, trying to make sure Finn Balor doesn't curb the momentum of Team Drew McIntyre ahead of Survivor Series. Nakamura heading to the outside. He's calling out to Finn Balor, but Finn Balor already making his way up the entrance. Distraction made, point made, message sent from Finn Balor and Team Sheamus ahead of Survivor Series. Nakamura almost getting calls to the matchup here, but now you got to rethink your strategy. Oh, man, Theory getting sent over into the audience, hitting the concrete. And Theory better, you better think about that and better get used to falling on that cold, hard concrete because remember, last man standing, that fight can go anywhere between himself and John Cena coming up at Survivor Series. And I'm sure that those two men and the bad blood between them, I can't imagine that fight is going to stay inside the squared circle from bell to bell as Nakamura went for a dive there. A little bit of a send time, but Austin Theory got out of the way. And luckily for Nakamura, the heart and the fight and the toughness of the King of Strong style. Trying to survive this contest. He knows a lot of momentum is riding on this affair tonight against Austin Theory. Austin Theory trying to derail Nakamura, laying him out on the outside. The former WWE Champion wants to remind the world just who the hell he is. Wait a minute, not on the outside again, and a suplex on the outside of the ring. And hell, this could be a little preview here. Austin Theory just could be trying to send a message to John Cena, who we're going to see in action later tonight. Against the almighty Bobby Lashley in the main event, Cena going to have his opportunity to build some momentum ahead of Survivor Series. But this matchup getting taken to the outside here. Just a little preview of what we could see when it's last man standing on Thanksgiving night. And I ain't just talking about who's going to be left at the dinner table. Nakamura back into the ring. Theory chasing after him here. Nakamura, that may be the split second that he needed to get back in this matchup. Nice backbreaker. Here he's down. Nakamura's heading to the top rope. Nakamura's got to hurry up, though. Austin Theory's right there. Nakamura dropping the axe hammer. Miscalculates it. Theory's behind him. Forearm. Oh, no. And this is where Nakamura gets all tied up, and he eats the canvas. And a rope break there. Austin Theory better watch his ring awareness. Theory again. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, man. Drops him on the knee. And you see the fire in the eyes of Austin Theory, whether you like him or not. And yet again, he's going to send Nakamura inside out and for a ride. And unfortunately, I don't think there's any waking up from that offense. 
Austin Theory picking up the victory here tonight on Monday Night Raw. And whether you like the young man or not, every time he steps foot in the square circle, he continues to impress, win, loss, or draw. And tonight it's another victory for Austin Theory. Momentum in the corner of Theory ahead of Survivor Series. We'll see if John Cena can combat it the same later tonight when he goes one-on-one -on -one with Bobby Lashley. But it's this Thursday, Thanksgiving Here night, last man standing, Theory versus John Cena. The rubber match between those two men. Who is going to survive this coming thanks? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Cameras cut to the back. The WWE Champion Edge, the number one contender, Randy Orton. A brawl has ensued. God only knows who started this fight, but these two men who are signed for Hell in a Cell this coming Thursday are not waiting for Survivor Series. The brawl is on. These two men battling atop a bunch of boxes and construction in the locker room, or excuse me, in the backstage area. I don't know who started the fight, but right now Edge is down and the number one contender may be looking to send a message ahead of Survivor Series and ahead of Hell in a Cell. This is obviously not what we expected right now. Austin Theory getting the win over Nakamura and clearly chaos breaking out in the back when Randy Orton's got that chair in hand. He cracks Edge over the head with it. And the WWE Champion eating the steal for the number one contender, that son of a bitch. Oh, come on, not again. Oh, and Edge trying to fight back. We gotta get some help back there and separate these two men before they cost ourselves the Survivor Series main event. That is not good. Well, hopefully we got some help back in the locker room area to separate Randy Orton and Edge, but we're moving right along with the Road to Survivor Series here tonight, and the big man, the heavy of Apollo Crews, Commander Aziz, is in action against the Scottish psychopath, Drew McIntyre. It's all about building momentum tonight, and these two men looking to do the same ahead of that Survivor Series six-man elimination challenge this coming Thursday. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, Accompanied by Apollo Crews from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 350 pounds, Commander Aziz. And as Commander Aziz enters the ring, we want to remind you that next Monday night on Raw, it is the WWE Draft. Friday Night SmackDown is coming back on the air in just 24 hours after the Survivor Series pay-per-view. We're going to be live with the WWE Draft and the landscape is the WWE. It's going to change forever. And excuse me, it will not be 24 hours after the Survivor Series pay-per-view. That's the new day to Survivor Series. Of course, as we've been mentioning all night long, is Thanksgiving night, but it will be next Monday following the Survivor Series pay-per-view. The WWE draft between Raw and SmackDown, and we're going to shake this universe to its absolute core. The Scottish Psychopath is live in Los Angeles tonight. And McIntyre looking to lead his team in a battle on Thanksgiving evening. And his opponent from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre's had a score to settle with the Celtic warrior Sheamus, with Apollo Crews, with the Prince Finn Balor for several, several months. And McIntyre's going to get that opportunity as he leads Shinsuke Nakamura and the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne, into battle on Thanksgiving. But tonight, McIntyre goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with a man that actually might be able to look this ginormous Scottish psychopath in his eyes, the big man, Commander Aziz. A heavyweight battle, and as we've been mentioning all night long, all about building momentum ahead of Survivor Series. Shinsuke Nakamura, unfortunately, coming up short moments ago against Austin Theory, or maybe, not, maybe Drew McIntyre, excuse me, can wheel some of that momentum back in. As we are moments away from our main event, John Cena versus Bobby Lashley, still to come tonight on Monday Night Raw, and we're going to run down the entire eight-match card for Survivor Series in moments as well. Commander Aziz looking to do a number on Drew McIntyre ahead of Survivor Series. And what a tomahawk shot from the second rope from the big man, taking McIntyre off his feet. 
Really haven't gotten much of a look so far of Commander Aziz ever since Apollo Crews recruited this big man from NXT. But tonight he's got a base score against Drew McIntyre ahead of him tonight. And McIntyre coming off the top with a big chop of his own. It's one way to take the big man off his feet. Drew McIntyre has been well documented throughout this year. McIntyre's story of unfortunately not being able to quote unquote win the big one. He's failed to become the Intercontinental Champion unfortunately over a few occasions. He's failed to defeat Finn Balor on multiple occasions in recent history as well. One of the reasons he's looking at even the odds with the Prince that we saw out here moments ago. Of course McIntyre and Sheamus have been at each other's throats for several months. McIntyre did defeat Sheamus all the way back at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view and no holds barred but Again, all six men that will be battling on Thanksgiving night. All their stories and all their roads have been intertwined for months, and it's all going to come to a head. That six-man elimination bout on Thanksgiving evening, 5 p.m. Eastern time, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Commander Aziz doing a number on McIntyre right now. Apollo Crews at ringside got to like what he sees. Now, hell, I'm sure the Celtic Warrior Sheamus and Finn Balor loving what they see out of Aziz as well. Keep the momentum going. You see Commander Aziz, one of the only men in here in the WWE, can really look eye to eye with someone the size of Drew McIntyre. He's got McIntyre right where he wants him right now. Drew McIntyre, regardless of any win-loss situations, we obviously know no slouch inside of that squared circle. Former WWE Champion, Royal Rumble match winner. He's done a little bit of everything here in the WWE. And Commander Aziz, unfortunately for Drew, is having his way with him here tonight. McIntyre in the corner, Commander Aziz just really beating down the Scottish Psychopath. And I'm sure the orders were not just beat Drew McIntyre tonight, but were beat up Drew McIntyre to make sure he doesn't go to Survivor Series 110%. Apollo Crews at ringside again, gotta like what he sees out of his henchmen here tonight. A nice shot from Aziz. Really unloaded on Drew McIntyre. Oh, McIntyre waking up a little here. Slap to the face of the big man. Hook in the arms. Future shock DDT. It don't matter what has happened from bell to bell. It only matters how you finish. And McIntyre in the corner right now. Claymore kick all the way from Scotland to Los Angeles. And you may as well count to 100. Drew McIntyre knocking Commander Aziz lights out here tonight. Got to be impressed with the big man. He took the fight to the Scottish psychopath, but Drew McIntyre came in with a mission and executed on it perfectly. Knocked the lights out of Aziz. Had him looking up at the lights here at the Crypto Arena in Los Angeles. And Drew McIntyre leaving the City of Angels and on his way to the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts at Survivor Series with a W in the win column. Look at that future shock DDT followed by the Claymore. And you can count to whatever number you want. Aziz is still knocked out. A win here tonight goes a long way, but who is getting their hand raised come Thanksgiving night, November the 24th, Survivor Series. Team Drew McIntyre, Team Sheamus, Survivor Series six-man elimination contest live right here on the Noation Gaming YouTube channel. Survivor Series is live this Thursday, and as we just mentioned, it's the Survivor Series six-man elimination matchup. Team Sheamus, Balor, Apollo Crews versus Team McIntyre, Nakamura, and the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne. And in the other six-man elimination matchup of the Hurt Business, Bobby Lashley, Cedric Alexander, and Shelton Benjamin go up against the World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest, Dominic Dijakovic, and the phenomenal Team Captain, AJ Styles. Ricochet has been atop the Cruiserweight division since the month of June, but will Roderick Strong be the one to knock the champion off his pedestal? Strong versus Ricochet for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Last week on Monday Night Raw, Dolph Ziggler outlasts four other men in the Fatal Five-Way Contest, earning the right to face the Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa for the Intercontinental Championship one-on-one. -on -one. There's a lot of writing on this affair. 
We have witnessed the World Tag Team Championship Women's Tournament take place over the last number of weeks, and we are going to see the finals at Survivor Series. Candice LeRae, Indy Hartwell of the way, taking on Io Shirai and Xia Lee. And of course, the WWE Women's Championship will be on the line. The dominant Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, will go one-on-one -on -one with the number one contender, Shotzi. The woman she defeated for the gold all the way back at SummerSlam. Is it time for Shotzi's redemption? Last man standing, Austin Theory, John Cena. This is the rubber match between these two men. They are one apiece, and it's time to settle the score. Who is going to be the last man standing and leaving Boston with the W? And these two men will be locked inside the confines of Hell in the Cell. WWE Championship is on the line. The Apex Predator, Randy Orton, number one contender versus the WWE Champion, the Rated R Superstar. And, oh, wait a minute. Cutting back, Randy Orton and Edge are back out here. First the fight in the locker room earlier. And now these two men atop the stage. No wonder these two men are going to be locked inside Hell in the Cell this coming Thursday. They can't keep their hands off each other. The fight continues here tonight in Los Angeles. I don't know what happened, what transpired in the backstage, if they ever got these two men apart or if they've been brawling ever since. But now they're atop the stage and unfortunately getting into a dangerous predic predicament here. These two men better watch the edge of that stage. Oh, wait a minute, Edge. Oh no, sending Randy Orton for a ride down to the concrete. And Edge going for a dive. Edge and Randy Orton locked inside Hell in the Cell this Thursday night. Well, it has been one hell of an action-packed night on the go-home edition of Monday Night Raw before Survivor Series, but we got our main event up right now. The Almighty versus the franchise. One-on-one -on -one for the first time in a long, long time. And already signed for next week on Raw, the night of the WWE Draft. It is a no-holds-barred grudge match. The colossal Nigerian giant Omas takes on the original bro, Matt Riddle. Those two men with a score to settle, and that grudge will be settled in no-holds-barred live on Monday Night Raw next week, the night of the 2022 WWE Draft. But as we mentioned, Bobby Lashley ahead of Survivor Series with his two original members of the Hurt Business, Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin by his side. They will meet AJ Styles, Damian Priest, Dominic Dijakovic, 3v3 coming up on Thursday. But tonight for Lashley, it's a man who he hasn't faced inside the squared circle one-on-one -on -one in several, several years. The franchise is in the house. Weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! John Cena has become very familiar with the City of Angels over the last number of years, and he is no stranger to being under the bright lights here tonight. Crypto Arena holds the house for John Cena versus Bobby Lashley. And ahead of Survivor Series, I'm sure John Cena is ready to head home to Boston one-on-one -on -one versus Austin Theory. He may have laid him out with the attitude adjustment through the announce table last week on Raw, but I'm sure that's just a little bit of the measure of revenge that John Cena is looking to bring to the table this coming Thursday night at the TD Garden in Boston. But both of these men, a big fight feel here tonight, as we've been talking about all night long, a momentum night here on Monday Night Raw. Neither of these men can look past their opponent or they will get caught. Lashley and Cena, two colossal competitors, two legendary competitors inside of that ring. Remember all the way back in 2007, early on in both of these men's career, but especially for the almighty Bobby Lashley. 
Lashley meeting John Cena at the Great American Bash pay-per-view in July of 2007, coming up short in that WWE Championship matchup. And that's really one of the very few times these two men have stepped foot inside of the ring with each other. Obviously, that was several, several years ago. These two men coming a long way since. John Cena, the list of accolades since then, absolutely miles long. Bobby Lashley, you can almost make the same report. Bobby Lashley, look at this, looking to use the strength over John Cena. Last time we saw Cena inside the squared circle was his return to action after a month away, a number of weeks ago, when he went one-on-one -on -one with the current number one contender for the WWE Championship, the man who just took a spill off the top of the stage, Randy Orton. And of course, that was help with the distraction of all day Austin Theory. Just adding to fuel to the fire of the John Cena versus Austin Theory story that has played out over the last five months here in the WWE. And it all comes to a head. Last man standing. No pinfalls, no submissions, no count after disqualifications at Survivor Series. Cena and Austin Theory gonna have to beat the hell out of each other until one or the other could not answer the referee's count of 10. And Cena miscalculated that crossbody there and they're actually gonna aid into Bobby Lashley, grabbing a hold of the franchise player and hanging him up in the top rope. Bobby Lashley, last time we saw him in this ring, as we mentioned earlier tonight, a one-on-one -on -one matchup a number of weeks ago on Raw as well against one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Dominic Dijakovic, which Bobby Lashley was victorious on that night as well. Remember what happened after the contest, Matt Riddle, who's had issues with the Hurt Business as well, laying out Bobby Lashley. Now Riddle's gonna have his chance to get a measure of revenge on the man who really drug him into this Hurt Business situation, that being the Nigerian Giant Omas. When those two men go one-on-one -on -one next week on Raw, the WWE Draft, it's gonna be no holds barred between Omas and Riddle. What a fight that is gonna be in this very ring next week. Back to the action inside of the ring right now. Cena back in the driver's seat of this contest. Now Cena just going a little old school on Bobby Lashley. The ground and pound offense from John Cena. Very unorthodox, as Jim Ross would say over the years. A new school mixed with old school style for John Cena throughout his career, which has brought him so much success. But will it be enough to take down Bobby Lashley, who's really been on fire as of late? Remember back at the Judgment Day pay-per-view, Lashley and AJ Styles with that big backlash rematched, which is absolutely months in the making. What a matchup that was on that night. Another match of the year candidate as well, and Bobby Lashley walked away with the victory over AJ Styles on that night. I'm sure the phenomenal one has been thinking about it ever since we saw AJ in action last week here on Raw in a one-on-one -on -one victory against Seth freaking Rollins. So AJ building himself a little measure of momentum. Priest and Dijakovic retaining the tag team championships earlier tonight. Building some momentum for Team AJ as well. Will it be enough to topple the Hurt Business in their strongest form at Survivor Series? Bobby Lashley, a former WWE Champion, Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin, a former World Tag Team Champions in their own right. Shelton Benjamin as well, multiple tag team title reigns, United States Intercontinental Championship reigns throughout his career. The Hurt Business are a dangerous faction. And AJ Styles, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic gotta be careful of what lies ahead on Thanksgiving evening at Survivor Series. A night that could really change the landscape of the WWE with the WWE Draft the next night. A lot of momentum for the future could be built at Survivor Series. And where you go in the WWE Draft and where you get picked could be based off your win and loss at Survivor Series. So much riding on each and every contest as we ran down the eight match card already tonight. And it's all gonna be coming up live 5 p.m. Eastern time right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel, Thanksgiving night. The big Survivor Series pay-per-view, and what a power bomb by John Cena there. And into the cover he goes on the almighty Bobby Lashley. Lashley gets the shoulder up. Both men looking good in this contest. Gotta give credit where it's due. Both hanging in with each other, real back and forth since the opening bell. Cena's gotta do more to keep Bobby Lashley down. As we mentioned, the last you know, real big match for Lashley was that matchup against AJ Styles at Survivor Series. And Lashley, for a number of months, ever since really retooling, if you will, the mind inside and getting back to business, Lashley has been damn near unstoppable. And we'll see what happens in this matchup with John Cena, but if Lashley picks up another win here, 
I mean, you got to believe, even though AJ and Priest and Dijakovic have been looking great as of late, I don't know if it's going to measure up to Bobby Lashley in the Hurt Business in the Survivor Series six-man elimination matchup on Thursday. Lashley's looking good, but he can't get cocky against John Cena. It's John Cena right there, the franchise player, is going to make him pay for it while MVP watches at ringside. Lashley and Cena could have been looking for the five-knuckle shuffle there. Lashley able to avoid it. Lashley again countering out John Cena. Nice counter there for the almighty Lashley, like him or not, inside the square circle. An absolutely gifted and talented, hardworking human being is Bobby Lashley. Whether you like him or not, he knows how to get it done from bell to bell. Cena trying to make sure Lashley ain't building that momentum off his behalf. Cena's got his own momentum to build ahead of Survivor Series, but Lashley not allowing John Cena to get back into this contest. Cena trying to fight here, trying to really back his way out of the corner. Every time Cena tries to, oh, there's another counter by John Cena. Back and forth, the teeter-totter goes. Lashley again able to counter, pushing Cena off, dragging him up against the ropes here. And Cena again with another counter. Back and forth, yet again. Trying to take out the legs. Lashley dives. Lashley grabs a hole. Man, just knocked out John Cena with that right hand. Whipping him off into the corner. Cena's got to be dazed here. Can't count the franchise out. Nice crossbody there. Cena staying in this fight. He does not want to come up short. Ahead of the last man standing matchup at Survivor Series. Cena hits the ropes. You know what's coming. Five knuckles shuffle to the almighty. And will that be enough to keep Lashley Solder on the canvas for a count of three? Not quite yet. MVP liking what he sees at ringside of Bobby Lashley. Lashley survives another moment in this contest, but Cena's will be going high risk, high reward, heading to the top rope. Bit of a five knuckle shuffle variation there, elevated from the top of this ring. And Lashley, that may have been a knockout blow. And Cena eyeing up Bobby Lashley. I think we know what's coming. Attitude adjustment. And now Lashley able to get the shoulder up. I was ready to call John Cena with the victory. Lashley kicking out of the AA. Well, Cena's going right back into the position. No waste in motion from the franchise player. He's been in this predicament before. Attitude adjustment times two. And John Cena's walking away with the victory here tonight. A first class ticket from Los Angeles to Boston has been booked and the momentum surely in the corner of the franchise player. Now look at this, a little bit of a surprising situation here. Lashley shaking the hand at John Cena, not something we've seen out of Lashley for quite some time. A sign of respect for ladies and gentlemen, John Cena picks up the victory at Survivor Series is live this Thursday night, Thanksgiving, 5 p.m. Eastern time, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Good night, everybody. on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm around